It's our first time sailing with P&O and today we'll be embarking the Iona for the very first time. We're off on a week's cruise to Northern Europe in February. So will it be jumpers in Germany, raincoats in Rotterdam or just beer in Bruges? If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, that one's Wills and we are Postcard and a Pint. So join us as we sail the North Sea. But first, we need to get there. Let's do this. It's a no-fly cruise, so it's a train from Flint and remember that amber weather warning? Pitiful. Let's catch the train. All the way to a Premier Inn in Southampton for an overnight stay, with breakfast included. Cheers! We had a wander around Southampton after breakfast and saw Iona. We're so excited. Last minute prep, Wills? Before we got here, we printed out our luggage labels. Now, you have to fold them up, it says do not cut, and we have to stick these on our luggage. Now, we've just discovered that it says maximum limit of suitcase 23 kilogram. I think we're gonna be a bit heavier. Shh, don't tell them, see if we get away with it. Anyway, so let's attempt to, uh, to do this. You do that, lad. Wills is chief folder in this relationship. Have you managed it, Wills? Close enough for jazz, isn't it? I'm thinking so. Now get us a taxi from this convenient taxi phone and let's go. First fail of the day, we ordered a taxi and the chap said no problem, be here in five minutes. We've been standing there for 20 minutes now, just followed up the taxi place again and they said, oh, it came and it went, you weren't there. We were there, but anyway, they sent another the taxi, so fingers crossed. I did have my finger poised over the Uber app, but this time a taxi came. Wowzers, this is a bit bigger than a tin shack in Corfu. Yep, it's Iona we're going on and the cheap seats luggage drop-off is the furthest away from the ship, standard. They're as light as two blue feathers, honest. We've got to the terminal, we've just dropped our cases off on baggage pod four. They don't know they're over 23 kilograms yet though, so hopefully we'll get away with it. Now where to? No idea where we're going. Some things never change. We'll follow the crowd and I'm sure we'll end up in the right place. This is looking more and more like an airport as we go. I had all of our boarding cards printed out and it was so quick and easy. And before we knew it, we were walking up the longest gangway we've ever encountered cause... We're going on a boat. It's a long way up. Yes kids, this ship's a bit bigger than what you're used to. Just on board, going to muster station B, it's the first thing you have to do when you get on the ship. Our muster station was the Limelight Club. Through a gallery of very expensive art we went, gave our cabin number and we were all set to go. So far so good. Our cabins would be ready in about 20 minutes, so we went for a wander on deck. This ship is massive and I can see us walking a lot this week. We passed our first bar and didn't have a drink. Oh, we've changed. What are we thinking so far? Here we are up on deck eight. We have to say checking in was so efficient. They've got so many people working in that terminal. We sailed through 15 minutes. We were on the ship. We were going to go to the Horizon Buffet, but the lifts, loads of them are out of action because they're taking luggage to cabins. So we walked up to deck eight. We went to the Keys. I had fish and chips. Will's had a bit of a Asian fusion. And now we're just walking and our cabin should be ready in the next five minutes or so. So we declined a drink, but we'd managed to eat already. They'll be rolling us off. Better keep walking. Now you think you're going to get lost. It's a bit of a beast of a ship, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> That'll be a yes then. Oh, my feet already want to be in that jacuzzi. But first, to the cabin. An announcement was made. Everyone rushed for the lifts as the cabins were ready to go. We found ours quite easily and our practically svelte cases were already there. Result. Welcome on board. Welcome indeed. And in this envelope were our cruise cards. These bad boys are your onboard spending card and your cabin keys. And yes, you saw correctly, we're in cabin 4321. They obviously know we're thick and gave us an easy one to remember. Oh yes, and your card slots in by the door and works the lights too. Get on with it, Rach. Thanks. Right, we'll show you a little bit of the cabin before we trash it with our luggage. It looks so lovely empty and was surprisingly spacious. Everything still felt so new. So, your first thoughts, please. Really, really impressed. Our cases are here already. Let's unpack and then we're going to go and explore the ship. We found homes for everything and the cases fitted comfortably under the bed. Now Wi-Fi. As you saw in last week's video, we've pre-booked a Wi-Fi package and even if you haven't, we'll just tell you very quickly how to get on. Now, using the Horizons thing, it tells you to go onto your phone and to turn your Wi-Fi on. It does say go into airplane mode, but we haven't done that. But it says go onto your phone, 
turn on the Wi-Fi and look for P&O Cruises Guest Wi-Fi. Check, done that. It then opens up into Safari where you then need to go to myholiday.pocruises.com it's dead simple to do once you've done that all you do is you put your name your date of birth uh, some of the numbers from your your card your cabin card and follow the instructions jobs are good and on instantly it was dead quick it was it was so simple it's as easy as that showered refreshed now we're off to explore the ship we will be doing a full ship's review, but as newbies on this ship today, we decided to start at the top on deck 19 and work our way down. That looks like a lovely bar. We'll definitely be checking out the infinity pools. Iona has two, the panorama on deck 18 and infinity on deck 16. There's a lot of open deck space and we can see ourselves walking outside loads on this trip. There seems to be a lot of whirlpools, which was great. And this pool, the beachcomber on deck 18, is adults only. P&O, we're loving it so far. On deck 17, there's lots for the kids to do. Some outdoor deck games, the reef, which is a place for children of all ages to join activity programmes and make friends. This is the Sky Dome, which spans decks 16 and 17. It houses the indoor pool and is also a performance space by night. Next door to that is the all-important buffet. You could get all manner of food here, but crowd control and direction often made it a less than pleasant experience. So here's the infinity pool closer up. A pool for the kiddies. And another bar. Well, the bartenders are so entertaining and it's six o'clock. Somewhere, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? And we need to start getting our heads around the prices. So yes, in the name of research, We'll have a drink. We've made our first drink stop. It's 20 to 4. We've been here a few hours now. We're having a bit of an explorer of the ship. We've started at the top. We've started on deck 19. And at the moment we're on, I think it's 16. Are we on 16? Yeah, we're on 16 at the moment. So we had to stop for a little drink. First of the day. Cheers. Cheers indeed. And after that little rest, let's continue our exploration of Iona. The Crow's Nest is a lovely bar with great sea views on deck 17 forward. The Clubhouse is another lovely bar at the back of Deck 8. Yes, we've skipped a few floors, as it's all cabins from Deck 15 down to 9. We love the outdoor space at the back on Deck 8. If this was a sunny cruise, this would be us. Guest services is busy. The Grand Atrium houses many more bars. We intend to try them all. On Deck 7, you've got the casino and one level of the Headliners Theatre. Man, this ship is massive! This is the 710 Club on Deck 6. This was the only time we saw this club. Would you believe that? Iona even has its own gym bar and distillery. Our minds are blown. There's even a cinema on Deck 6, and if that's the calibre of film shown, we're in for a great week. Now, I don't know about you, but we're shattered, and on a cruise ship, that means it must be time to eat again. So let's try our hand at the virtual queue. Two please for the Aqua Restaurant. How was your cruise so far? Well, we've got a busy night ahead of us. We spent all afternoon walking all over this ship. Our feet are going to fall off. Are going to fall off. We have tried for the first time, the thing we talked about last week, wasn't sure about, the virtual queue. Oh yeah, we're so eighth. We've, we're eighth in the queue for the Aqua Restaurant. Let's see if it is the five minutes, 10 it's minutes, they say. logged in. Yeah, it's easy. Well, we haven't been told to go there yet. No. So let's see how long it takes. And then we're going to go and check out the aerial show in the Rise. Sky Dome, Rise. Then we've got a theatre show booked at 8.30. Ooh, yeah. Festival. Festival. And then if we're still awake, we Which might we probably, probably won't, won't be. be. Well, we deserve an early night tonight. We do, don't we? I'll look at that first night of our holiday. But it's a sea day tomorrow. It certainly is. And your virtual queuing has gone like... We've had a bit of a fail on the first go at the virtual queue. We thought we'd done it, as we just showed you in the room, where we've just turned up to the restaurant and she says, no, we're not doing it yet. We're a bit confused, even though it said there was two guests. So we had to make a reservation and we've just been given one of these buzzers. But what it does mean is there's only a sort of short distance um, radius where this will work in, or range where this will work in. So we're next door in, in Anderson's Bar, where it's more expensive for a pint than it was before, £5.65 this one. But anyway, we're waiting to be buzzed before we go into Aqua. Yep, you only virtually queue after six. We can go into Aqua now. Aqua is one of the four main included restaurants on board. They all have the same menu each night and we found the food really good. Steak and cod for us mains. 
and ice cream all around for Pud, champion. Now off to the Sky Dome for the aerial show. We think the story of this one was that all the birds prayed to this huge egg. Which then hatched into this ugly bird, that then became this beautiful bird that did a trapeze act. It was kind of the ugly duckling meets Disney meets Cirque du Soleil. Well done guys, we thoroughly enjoyed that. Now give us your best theatre critique, please, Rach. I really enjoyed it, actually. I enjoyed that it was bright and colourful. I enjoyed that there was no language. Um, the kids seemed to love it. It was an aerial show. It had quite a Cirque du Soleil feel about it. We've heard lots of really bad things about the sound in the Sky Dome. It probably is for singers, but I wasn't bothered by it at all. We got some really good seats because we got the time wrong and got there early. But on the whole, yeah, I really did enjoy it. I loved how the stage kept moving across the pools as well. It was a very yeah, simple story, but again, the kids loved it. Thanks very much. Now we're off to the theatre. We saw the show Festival, which was very bright and upbeat. It was OK. Where to now? The Crow's Nest. That'll do for a nice quiet drink before bed. OK, we've come for a last, last drink before we turn in for the night. We've come to the crow's nest. This one, I'd say, is sort of medium. It's not that busy. It was easy to get a table. It feels really nice and really chill in here. Highly recommended. Way to finish day one. See you tomorrow. Cheers, lad. And after listening to a lovely lass on the piano, we started to make our way home. Well, back to our cabin anyway. And for one split second, we felt young and stepped into the clubhouse. <laughs> But it was far too loud, and we'd had a nice day. Thank you. Bedtime. Morning. We've just come back from breakfast in the Coral Restaurant today. I think I like that one better. It was good, wasn't it? it better than Aqua. Yeah, much more airy and spacious and a beautiful view out yeah. the back over the sea. And breakfast was very nice I thought indeed. I saw a Christmas tree, but I didn't. No, you didn't. It was all reflections. Yeah, it was really, really lovely. And we're now getting ready for our first day at sea. Ooh, yeah. In cold weather, this is not us at all. I know. Sleep, sleep last night. It was good. Absolutely good sleep last night. beautiful. Bed is comfy. Really Pillows comfy. Are comfy. Yeah, the the sea is calm. It's not moving at all. We both slept really, really well. Navigationally, we have just passed Dunkirk. I think I've just passed more than Dunkirk. Well, <laughs> what you like? And we have looked in our Horizon magazine. Excuse him. And we bought a highlighter with us. Top oh, yeah. tip we learned, and we've. Marked out some things we want to do, so nothing really until this afternoon. Mm. Um, so this morning we're going to go up to the pool. Yeah. Um, it's heated, and then we're going to try a bit of a jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. That's us till lunch. <laughs> yeah. Couple of things to report. Yeah. I left a bog bag in the hotel you in Southampton, did. That's which a means toilet bag to the Americans. A toilet bag, yeah. yeah. Which, which means my uh, my brute thirty three aftershave is left behind. Still in Southampton. There's yeah. some other bits and bobs. Yeah. Anything Never else mind. to report? Uh, I didn't bring any shorts. No, you didn't bring any shorts. I brought I'm... some swimming trunks, but I didn't bring shorts. I thought, I'm not going to need them. Now I'm quite fancy going to the gym. Going to the gym. gym going to a stretch class. <laughs> going to a stretch class. Going to play football. So, uh, yeah, bring shorts, even mm. if you're going on a cold cruise. Yeah. Uh, anything else to report? Nope, that'll do. I think that's it. Let's carry on with our day at sea. Bye. Swimming in the gym, you guys have changed. It's not really the weather for it, but we're going to give it a we're go. We're going to go for it. How is it? It's all right, actually. It was very refreshing. Although we loved it and had room to swim, we imagined this pool would be way too small if it was a hot cruise. Next, we tried out one of the infinity pools, and it was great. And then... We're having a jacuzzi. The bubbles aren't working, but it's lovely and warm. And it's actually not that cold outside. It's, it's February right. and we're in the swimmers. We dried up and visited the end of the bingo. Moving on. We've one and five. Fifteen. Next, we went to a talk all about world-famous art heists. Welcome to the first seminar of the cruise. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Catherine. I am your art gallery manager on board. So it's my job to bring you a programme of art events throughout your voyage. We'll be kicking off with a seminar today on art heists. So I'll be talking to you about some of the earliest heists of art in history. Apparently there's a lot of money in robbing art, but enough, surely it's time to eat again. We're waiting for our table in the Olive Grove, so we're doing a mile with a smile. Seven laps of the jogging track on deck 18 is a mile, apparently. We walked. Then it was down to deck 16 to try the Olive Grove. 
by this time it was 3 p.m. so we decided to go light and just share a starter. Everything on the menu did look delicious though. Now this restaurant claimed to be full, but we knew from our research it was worth trying it on. I think for this one, book. You can't book this one or we couldn't book this one before we get on board. You can book it off your app once you're on board. Today, sea day, it said it was full all day. We didn't think we'd get in. We rocked up, asked if they had anything and they gave us a ticket to come back in an hour, which has worked out absolutely perfectly. But already, tomorrow in port, this one's only got a few slots left. The next day, only a few slots left. So do book this one when you get on board as soon as you can. Go on, what have you ordered? We've ordered the Italian sharing platter for two. It's only pretty small, but we have got a three-course meal later in the limelight, so it's looking good. And a tiramisu for afters. Perfect. We were exhausted after our day at sea so far. To the cabin. We're all scrubbed up and it's time to go out. Although we had an alcoholic drink with lunch and we had to have a nap. We're That's tired, weren't we? how rubbish we are, how old these, are we now? Yeah, these days. Anyway, we're off to the Limelight Club tonight, which is one of the paid extras. It's a three-course three meal, meal. Yep. and we get to see Deborah Stevenson, comedy impressionist. I'm really looking forward Should to this good, show. Shouldn't it? So we're off for a night out. Come with us. Bad times that we need a nana nap these days, but we were rested and ready to go. A word of advice, if you want a good seat, queue early. It started at 7, they opened the doors at quarter two, this was the queue at 6.30. We managed front row on the side and enjoyed a canapé, a beverage, and then the entertainment started. Sit back, relax and have a lovely time and I'll see you all very soon, thank you. We are going to make a video just about this experience, but for a quick overview, you receive your starter, then your main, both the fish and the steak were good, then once you've stuffed your face, it's part one of the entertainment. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so full. Hello, everybody. We'd been invited to write questions for Deborah, and it was so interesting hearing her answer these and included many funny stories. Then it was time for some music. And more importantly, dessert. The chocolate was quite literally the bomb. Finished! And now for Deborah's main act. She was absolutely fantastic and we'd had a brilliant time. Now we're off to our cabin for a sum up, but before we do, do give us a like, subscribe and follow as this is what's happening next week. Now does that look like Hamburg? Well it looks German but I'm not sure it's looking Hamburg. It's gorgeous, it has beer and sausage so it could be Hamburg. Go on you two, sum it up and give us an update. Well, that is the end of our first Iona vlog and we're having a lovely we're time. We're having a fab time. But we'll tell you something, our itinerary has changed already. Not going to Hamburg. We are not going to Hamburg anymore. Something sunk in the harbour and I guess they're just trying to contain it. A, lo a load of diesel was was on board, but yeah. it didn't escape luckily, but they, well, they don't want ships anywhere The last thing they need there. is a load of cruise ships going past. So we're going to Bremer Harbour instead. Ooh. Now, Hamburg, we've booked an excursion, so we've changed now and we've booked Bremen on your own. So mm. we're off to see Bremen. Bremen. We're very excited. It looks really, really nice. about an hour outside of Bremen yeah. Harbour. Is Bremen Harbour. <laughs> no, it looks really nice. So what do we think of Iona? Mm, it is massive. It is big. Absolutely massive. We're starting to get our head around it now, aren't we? Yeah, I think when you first get on, it can be a little bit overwhelming. You're like, I'm never going to learn this. But it's amazing how quick yeah. you do learn the ship. Yeah, absolutely. So we've loved it. And we just want to say as well, this is a diary vlog and we're going to be making a series. We'll be making millions of these things. Not millions. <laughs> a, a series of diary vlogs and then we'll give you our overall thoughts and an overall guide to the ship. And other bits and bobs. Yeah, other bits and bobs we're learning along the way and things we wish we'd have known hmm. before we came on. One thing we will say, we were a bit apprehensive about the booking system, but what we will say is book. Book, definitely book. Book, book, book. book. The, re yeah. the reason being, we were chatting to a guy in the hopped up today yeah. who is a seasoned P and O cruiser, but, but he, never the big ships, never this one before, or Arvia, and he didn't know about the booking two weeks in advance, which yeah. we'd learned on YouTube videos. Yeah, and he got on board yesterday. 
and only to discover that he couldn't book any of the, the shows or, or the show last night because no. it was sold out. No, and even um, a lot of restaurants he wanted to do. But the gone. frustrating thing is when we went to the show, yep. there were still empty seats, even though it claimed to be sold out. So obviously people have been booking them, yeah. but not turning up for them. So please turn up for them or, or cancel them. Or book so that they can release them to somebody else. But yeah, yeah it, I'm, I'm still not decided yet on whether I like the booking or don't like the booking. We had a bit of a funny turn with the yeah. with the reserve but or the virtual queue thing, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, but. but on the whole, I can see why they do it. It is an absolutely massive ship. Yeah. So let's wrap this up and we'll see you next week discovering Ooh. Bremen. And it is actually another overnight. They've given us an overnight. We're sailing early the next morning because it's not quite as far away. Yeah, I think anyone Hamlet. who stayed out in Bremen overnight has to be on board by nine o'clock. Something like that. Something like that and in the morning. this is our first, what I say, cold cruise as passengers. Yeah. And we're really enjoying it. We weren't sure because we've only ever done hot cruises before, even before the channel. And I loved the sea day. There was plenty to do. Yeah. The hot tubs were great. The, the pool swimming, was great. Yeah. People were looking at us going, what are they doing in yeah. that swimming pool? And Only a few like people swam, but it was so invigorating. It was really, really lovely. It was fun, and wasn't it? I'm looking forward to the next sea day after Bremer Harbin. Yeah. So if you would like this video. Oh, we're there, are we? We're okay. there. If you'd like the video, if you'd hit the subscribe button, if you'd do the like thing, if you'd leave us a comment, is there anything you want to know about the Iona? Have you been yeah. on Iona? Anything. Yeah. Leave anything us a comment. Anything you'd like to ask. And we'll leave you as we always do. As we say in postcard and a bind, cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times. times. Have you heard about the Bluetooth iceberg? No. When ships go near it, they sink. Ah. Oh.